Welcome back. Linda Bart from the Bruce Company is here taking your calls at 270-9933. Hello, Linda. Hi, Mark. How are you? Well, I'm doing well. Okay, that's good. <laughs> we have plenty of calls, so let's start with Terry from Monona. Hi, Terry. What's your question? Hi. I have an anthurium plant, and it's such a delicate plant. It's in its original vase, a ceramic vase. There's no air holes or anything at the bottom. And I know the soil is its not normal soil. Do I have to repot that? Will it stay the same size, or is it, does it need to be repotted? Well, it's an anthurium. Is that what you said? Yes. Okay. If if it's been in the pot for a long, long time, um, sometimes what I what I like to do if I have concerns that it's something's root bound, I'll actually lift it right out of that container just to see how root bound it is. And if it's a solid mass of roots, then I do upsize it and I go about a half an inch on either side of the existing pot, not too much bigger. Just some new fresh soil, and uh, it's a little early, but uh, February. February, March is a real good time to repot things because we're starting to have longer days, and then those roots can invade that new um, soil area. Okay. Okay. All right, thanks for the call. Let's go to Terry now in Monona. I, I'm sorry. It's Fritzy from Dodgeville. Okay, I got a peace plant that just been looking droopy all the time. It's blooming, but it don't look good. What should I do? Wow, it's flowering. Well, that's interesting. If it looks droopy all the time, I, you've got to be a little bit careful because if when you water it, normally it springs right back. So if it continues to look droopy, sometimes people overwater, and then you get a, a root rot. So again, you might want to actually lift that plant out of the, its pot and see what that root system looks like. And if the soil drops away, get rid of anything that, that's rotted, and you actually need to downsize and go put it in a smaller pot, depending on what you find with those roots. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Let's go to Peggy now in Monona. Hi, Peggy. Hi. What's your question? My question is, um, how often do I water my uh, Christmas cactus, and where should I put it in the house as far as light is concerned? Okay, Christmas cactus, at this time of the year, if you have a south window or a sunroom, yes, that I do. would be ideal. Okay. See, it's, it's not a cactus, it's a succulent, but it still wants as much sun, especially this year. The cloudy, 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 terrible year in terms of houseplants. So the other thing about, um, uh, I think that she asked about repotting it. Or no, no, watering, watering it. Watering. Watering. It. Okay. That depends upon what size pot it's in. I like to have Christmas cactuses in a decorative pot and then a plastic pot inside of that so that I can water it thoroughly, wait an hour, let that water be taken up, and feel what that, when that is totally saturated, feel what that pot feels like. And then you wait another, like if it's a six inch pot, probably this time of the year with the heat that people keep homes at, um, once a week might be good. Maybe maybe every two weeks, but feel how heavy it is and then let it dry out and then rewater it thoroughly. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, thanks for calling. Let's go to Ella in Madison. Hi, Ella. Hi. Hi, what's your question? Oh, I want to know um, about uh, a, a small plant, some plant uh, bushes that I could put in front of my yard, and I get a lot of southern exposure, so I want to plant new ones this year, but about that they only grow three or four feet. What should, should she recommend? Okay. Two to three, three, two to three feet tall. Okay. Two to three feet, even smaller. All right, well, then you might take, take a look at different kinds of spirea. They have come out with some new varieties that are, are very nice that actually develop a fall color also. Or something like, well, yucca would be something that would stay smaller but get a big, tall um, flower stalk. Wygelia has a number of plants that, that flower and that stay quite diminutive. The other thing that you could do, there's a whole lot of perennials that are going to um, flower well in that in that size range, like Autumn Joy Sedum. That would yeah, really, okay. really like a hot, sunny spot. No, you can... Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Got to cut you off. We're out of time. Thank you all for calling in. Linda, thank you for your time. Thanks, Mark. See you next week.